Hey everyone, uh, Steve from the forums. Um, just doing a little quick video um, for a member on the forums. I'm selling off my Turnigy Lipo packs uh, to Life PO Forever, I think his name is, <laughs> on the forums. Uh, anyways, he asked me to do a quick video just to show how to uh, hook up the packs, how to charge them, just because he wasn't too sure. First time going uh, with the battery uh, with no BMS, so I'm just gonna thought I'd give him a little overview of it. So, the first thing you'd want to do. Uh, these packs are already configured. They are paralleled by the balance leads. So the harness is already made for you. I've done this myself. And basically it's two of them in parallel. So it goes to one connector. That's all it is. And it hooks up to there. So they're parallel there. And these are pretty much in parallel as well, which I'll show you how I hook them up. That's all it is. So what I do, I'm using a 100 volt eBay charger, which I made. So they're 240 volt supplies. The supply is tuned to about 98 volts. And what I do is I connect these in series, which I'll try to show you. So I just go like that. Okay. So basically on the end, you'll have the, po the negative on one side, and you see how it goes positive, negative, positive, negative. Positive, negative, and then the last one will be positive, obviously. All right, and next thing I'll do is I'll hook up my, my Hobby King balancers. So they have the port right there, the six pin port. You just plug them in like this when you charge. One. Two. Three. All right. So if you look at the cells, they're all very balanced. Very balanced and very well balanced actually. They're all perfect. <laughs> Except for the exception of like one that's 0.78, but they're pretty much perfect dead on. And all you need to do is you go into the settings on this. It's very easy to do. You go to the if you hit cancel, it'll it'll say balance voltage and discharge voltage. Now, to prolong the battery life of the LiPo, you wanna make sure that this is at 4.10. So what I do is, the only feature that we're gonna be using is the discharge feature, but I, I like to set it to 4.10 for both of them. So I set the balance voltage at 4.1 and the discharge voltage to 4.10. And what you do is you just hit discharge. Once you set it, you set all of them the same way. So again, I just double check, discharge. And basically what this will allow is that when the batteries come up to 4.10, because my, my power supply is tuned that each cell will hit 4.10. So when the supplies approach 4.10, you know, 4.11, when they start hitting around that voltage, if they go over 4.10, the discharger will kick in and it will start to bleed out the excess current. That's basically what will happen. All right, so I made a little hardness here, which I might give it to you, but yeah, I'm gonna give it to you. You can keep it. All right, so basically what you do is you hook up the negative right here. There's your negative. Make sure the breaker, this is just a little breaker. You just put it off. And all this is is just a parallel harness. It's all parallel. So you just plug the positive in like that. And then you hook it up to the positive end. Okay, so it's very simple. Just, you know, basically the negative is going through a breaker. That's all it is. And these are parallel together because these must always be in parallel. This two wire here, this two wire here so that the batteries discharge evenly. And then, you know, positive goes to there. It's the positive just, this looks more complicated than it is. It just basically runs the positive. There's nothing, no break there. And there's just a breaker on the negative I use. And basically what you do, you hook it up, make sure my breaker's off. Put that on. So plug that in. Hit the breaker. And we're in business. That's how we charge. All right, and then when you're ready to go, you can just shut it off if you want to be safety. Unplug it. Plug your, your controller right into that. Run the battery when it's dead again. Plug her back in. Charge it up. And there you go, you're in business.
All right. Thanks.